Hey everybody, welcome to the Modular Workshop Skins Tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a largely impromptu and informal tutorial, uh, and hopefully informative uh, tutorial, into how you can load your own custom skins into an existing Modular Workshop mod. I am going to be making a number of assumptions here. Um, the first is that you already have Unity 5.6.3. Um, the other is that you know how meat kit works and that you have that running um for those of you who don't know uh, i do believe that devon de monster's youtube tutorial uh, is still relevant um so i would start there first things first um importing the modular workshop dll into your unity project uh, we just go to meat kit scripts import single uh, from there, uh, we will just head to our plugins location and navigate to City Robo Modular Workshop and import that DLL. Now, I've already got that imported, and I already have a lot of this set up, so we can kind of cruise through this. Um, so for the uh, purpose of this video, uh, we're going to be just looking at this single uh, handguard here from module MCX. Um, as you can see, I'm creating a set of multi-cam camos uh, for the gun. These will be in the base mod. I'm just using this as a tutorial example. Okay, so for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at this handguard from module MCX. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on a set of multi-cam textures for uh, the MCX LT. Uh, that will be coming to the, the base mod. Uh, this is just for the tutorial. Um, another set of assumptions that I'm going to make is that you already have your mesh and you already know how to texture things. Um, you know, there's plenty of resources out there on how to get started with Substance Painter um, or even if you're just looking for a, a simple, you know, color change. Um, you know, I'm assuming you already know how to get the resources and assets um, out of your desired mod. Um, there's also plenty of resources available on the H3VR homebrew modding server. Um, so uh, with those assumptions out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, uh, you will need uh, to know the name of the modular part that you're looking to replace. Um, and you'll also need to know the parts group ID of the part that you're looking to replace. Um, so in this case, our part name is MCXLT 8 inch handguard. Um, and just based off of my MCXLT here, we can scroll down and see that my parts group ID is handguards underscore MCX. So there are essentially three pieces of metadata required um, for this. The first is the um, skins definition. Next is the modular workshop build item. And the last is your, your normal um, default, um, you know, meat kit uh, build profile. So we'll start with the workshop skins definition. To find that, we go to right click, create, uh, head to modular workshop. There it is. And we're going to create um, a modular workshop skins definition. So from there, we then paste our groups, group ID, handguards MCX, and our part name, MCX LT 8 inch handguard, into here. Um, we then create the number of skin definitions that we want. If we want, you know, 24 uh, set of skins, uh, that's crazy, but you know, that's how you do that. We're only looking for one right now. Uh, you then set the modular skin ID. Uh, this is what allows you to. Uh, select an FDE or black or whatever color um, on one part and then go to another part of the same category. So let's say it's a handguard, right? Um, you choose the eight inch handguard set to FDE. You switch to the 14 inch handguard. It is automatically FDE. That's what this controls. Um, so if we set this to like um, FDE and then we have another handguard with another skin ID set to FDE, that's what links those together. 
Um, the display name is uh, exactly what you see in the UI prefab panel. Um, so this is, you know, when you hit skins, this is the name of what comes up. Of course, you'll need to put an icon in here so people know what they're choosing. Um, from here, we go to the different skinned mesh pieces. Uh, this number of meshes needs to match the number of meshes that are in your game object. Um, in this case, um, we can see that there's only one there's only one mesh in here, and it's just handguard PDW. So uh, we can then just you know press one, and we get our one material that we need to input. Um, from there, it's very standard uh, alloy core. Create a material. Right click, create material. Um, change that shader from standard to alloy core. Um, assign your materials. Um, so we've got our alloy map and alloy, our base color here in the base color channel, and our normal normals. Um, general texturing tip, make sure that sRGB is unchecked on your alloy maps. Um, just a general tip, couldn't tell you why, I forget. <laughs> um, anyways, so back over to our skins definition you will then drag that material into uh, your different skinned mesh pieces. Uh, this is useful for, um, you know, let's say that you've got this really wild um, triple handguard whatever wild thing, uh, and we'll say like one of these is black, one of them is coyote, and the other is multicam. In that case, um, you would just take a look at what the order of those meshes are, head into your skins definition, increase that size to three, uh, and then you can assign your materials from there. So that's like PDW. I think it went black and then PDW coyote. Um, so yeah, in, in certain situations, you know, you're going to have a more complex game object, uh, like a lower receiver or an upper receiver that has multiple meshes within it. That is how you assign materials properly. Anyways, we only have one material and only one mesh. There we go. Uh, so that is how you assign your materials. Now that our skins definition is filled out, um, we're going to create a modular workshop build item. And that is create meat kit build items modular workshop add-on build item. Uh, this is where you drag your modular workshop skins definition. Um, this is not specifically a tutorial for this, but if you were to create um, modular workshop parts definition, uh, let's say you were actually creating a new handguard for module MCX, um, you would uh, drag that part into your parts definition. And of course you would reuse the parts group ID um, and the display name of that parts group ID. Anyways, that is not what we're getting into here, um, but that is what this modular workshop parts definition is for. That's where um, the parts group IDs and all that sort of stuff would go in here. Anyways, we're only concerned about skins, trying to stay focused here. Um, head over to your um, meat kit build profile. So that's create meat kit build profile. Uh, fill it out with your, you know, the package name, uh, this is the name that appears on R2 Modman, your author, who you are, version name, um, the icon, we need to take that, um, and of course a, um, a readme. There we go. So we can now drag that readme in here. Uh, add a description, and down here, this is what we're really concerned with. We want to set our build action to create Thunderstore package, 
and we drag our modular workshop build item right into the build items, of course. From there, um, let's see here, let's take this icon really quickly. Um, so I am using um, City Robo's advanced icon camera. I believe this is an open scripts too. Um, but basically, we just uh, we've got our camera set up and our lighting set up the way we want. Um, we've got our our game object here. We'll then put that in the object to iconize and object to iconize here. Um, I'm making sure that my directional lighting stays active, um, and then I just create a single icon, and then we have our very own icon. Uh, don't forget to set a background icon, um, or just a background image for the icon. In this case, I'm using my Mig Bauer Meat Banana Sig Sour um, background here. Anyways, coming back over to our build profile, that icon goes right there. There we go. Icon will be resized. Um, and at this point, um, you can just add, a, let's see here, how do you get this tab? Meat Kit Build Window. That's, that's how you get that. You open up your build window. I like keeping it over here because I'm jumping between my inspector and building all the time. At this point, you just go ahead and hit build. Okay, I realize I'm a genius and you actually have to drag the build profile that you were working on into the meat kit build window. Uh, I was working on some AR2 stuff there. Anyways, drag in the build profile you want and then press build. I can hear you now saying, but meat, where does that asset bundle uh, actually end up? Uh, so that is wherever your Unity project is stored. In this case, I've named mine Freshest Meat Kit, um, but it is inside the Asset Bundles folder inside your Unity project. Um, so here you can see all of my projects here that I've, I've built out of this Unity project. Uh, and here is our modular workshop skins tutorial. Uh, at this point, we can just um, select this um, archive here. This It automatically zips it up for you, and you can import that via local mod in R2 Mod Manager. So at this point, it is time to head in-game after importing your, your mod uh, and heading to the item that you created your skin for. Hitting skins and seeing uh, if anything went wrong. Uh, in this case, we just forgot to um, assign the proper icon uh, to our skins definition. So that's probably going to be a very common uh, oversight. Um, so if you ever see a white square, go back to your skins definition and drag in your icon. Otherwise, we just select it, see how it looks in game and give yourself a pat on the back for implementing a custom skin. Go ahead and go nuts. I cannot wait to see what all you guys make. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.